What's up guys, you're in here and welcome back to Little Hope. <gasps> that took me off guard. Like, I just started and I got confused and pressed the wrong button. Hello? Who's there? Oh my god. <gasps> hey! Can't get through! This window is all boarded up! How'd you get here anyway? Went around the side, through a fence. <sighs> so I climbed into this haunted house for nothing. The gap in the fence wasn't so big. You would have got stuck. How is it in there? I'm not gonna joke. This place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. I just wanna get out of here. Hold on, I'll be right there. What if it's not her? Will you relax? I'm coming. I'm scared. for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. I'm not leaving. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy. What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about her. Am I doing the right thing? The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. Oh, shit. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. This is 
so confusing. Where the hell have you been? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. I figured Angela was just messed up with all that double stuff, but maybe not. Well, look-alike Angela was arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. This is so confusing. What do you think? I'm not so sure we'll find anything useful in here. It's derelict. You students are all the same. Doom, gloom, and negative. Oh, come on. Never mind how it looks. All we need is one phone to still be hooked up. This place is a real dump, even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? <laughs> These small-town police stations all look the same. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest of Little Hope. Why would you do that? Jesus. so quiet. I feel unsettled. At least I'm not alone. I'm gonna get jump scared again. Reynolds. To knock. I swear I did. I can hear it again. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I don't like it. Where is everyone? Guys?
real nice. Okay. Okay, maybe it's here. Okay, nothing here. There's got to be something. Just that. We have a winner. Found a phone. Probably not working. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. Of course it is. <coughs> Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Jesus Christ. Just that. Okay. Oh, we're doing all sorts of stuff here. Even searching cables. Don't give up. I feel we're about to find something. Keep looking. Whatever. On January 16, 1972, officers George Reynolds and Ernie Hoffman. What is that? I didn't even. I didn't even read. Jesus, with the jump scares. What do you think? Answer it. Uh, let's think about this. Wait. Let's think about this. Answer the goddamn phone! Hey, come on! Be a man for once in your miserable life! Fine. Hello? Who is this? to engage, say something to him. Why? Why? What's wrong with our relationship? I didn't say something bad, did I? Can too. Whoever it is on this call is having some kind of breakdown. They sound delusional. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. Do not hang up. This is our best shot at finding out what's going on here. speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night, and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Come now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with you, kin. 
I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? I'm not gonna talk. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Oh. I think I'm gonna approach the children. Oh my god. Okay. I beg you, good judge, let us conclude our business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor oh. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're of? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. I don't think I can take much more of this. I think it's almost over. I don't know if I should get mixed up with this. They are here among us. They are here among us. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. She was acting. What a brat. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal, Violet. What if what happens on the visions they see means uh, harm to their selves of now? Which means I should have done something. Oh, I'm so confused. Death, drowning, hanging, burning. Let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That woman might double 
was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! We can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one... Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, no, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. You're I'm dumb. glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. Well, shit. Okay. I'm gonna end this part here. Where things get really, really interesting. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!